How y'all doing? Donald back again with another video to help show you a tip to help automate your video editing process. Now, the last video I showed you how to cut sections of a video out into their own files for use later. Uh, another common thing you may want to do with video files is uh, apply some sort of uh, transition effects to uh, kind of help make the shifting from one clip to another more seamless. And effect that is common to use from doing this is either fading in the video and then fading out the video. Now, surely you have to open up, you know, a more comprehensive editor to do this. Uh, well, no, you don't. Uh, we can use the exact same tool that we used last time to actually achieve a to apply a fade in and a fade out effect to both video and audio. So I'm going to show you all how to do that now. So we're going to go over here and. Um, I'm going to show you an additional trick too during this. So what we want to do is I'm going to apply the fade in to uh, one of the, the outro clip that I took out last time. So the basic, you should might know the basic structure we have of MPEG by now, dash I for the input. Uh, we're going to do outro mp 4 Now we're going to use a filter. Now the thing to keep in mind with the filter, this is different when we were cutting out uh, sections of the video. Um, when you use a filter, uh, it forces a re-encode. So if you run a filter over a bigger video file, just anything more, even a few minutes, uh, this is not going to be a fast process. But I'm going to use it on a small video so that one, you can see the end result, and two, I'm also going to show you a way to preview this stuff without actually doing it on a file to uh, see what you're going to be doing before you actually let it do the whole re-encoding. So the filter that we're interested in for applying the fade effect to a video is called fade. Let me make my screen a little bigger here so I can see you. Okay. So called fade, and the first part of this is T. Now the T is the type of fade. There's there's only two options. There's fade in and there's fade out. So the first example we're going to do would be doing a fade. So I'm going to say T equals N colon to separate the options. Uh, now the first part is we want to decide when do we want the fade in effect to start. You can do that two different ways. You can do that with S, which is on which frame to start, or you can do it with ST to, the, to use a uh, timestamp to decide when to do it. Um, I typically use timestamps, and at this example, I'm, I just wanted to start as soon as the video starts, so it's going to be zero. And then the third part of this, you have to specify the duration over which the video will do the fade in. Uh, so to clarify, if I say I made the ST, uh, the starting time like three seconds in, the first three seconds of the video would just be black. And then let's say I have the duration to be three seconds. So what will happen is you'll have the first three seconds of the video will be black. And then, over, and then after three seconds, over three seconds, the video will fade in to be fully visible. Now for the duration part, you can specify it similar ways. You can do N to say the number of frames to do the fade in over. Or you can do D for a time-based duration. Again, I'm more partial to the time. So I'm going to say three. So what, this, what the effect should be is that as soon as the video starts, it starts black, and over three seconds, it fades into full view. And uh, we're going to make it go to the beanie outro uh, fade in dot mp4. Now remember, this is a this is going to force a re-encode, so this won't be instant like when we were like copying sections out in the current file. It should be still relatively fast though, because this video is only about 30 seconds long. So I'll be right back when this is done. And I'm back and it, it's done. Now you will see that even though this video is only 35 seconds-ish, it still took almost a minute to do the full re-encode. So I'm going to show, after we look at this, I'm going to show you a way to preview this so you don't have to wait for the full video to encode to see what the effect will look like. 
So let's look at this real fast. The outro fade in. Now, if I if this worked right, the f it'll just kind of be black and then fade into the video over three seconds. The fade in effect worked like a charm. Now, how do we look at this before actually doing a full re-encode? Because that's that takes a while. Another utility that tends to come in bundled with FFmpeg, or you might have to install it separately, depends on the platform maybe. It's called FF Play. Now, FF Play basically takes the exact same uh, command structure that FFmpeg does, but instead of writing it out to a file, it'll just play the result as a video player so you can see in real time what it'll actually be doing. So, to do that, we're going to do FF Play I Overwatch Beanie Outro. Then we're going to do the video filter like we did before fade equals T, uh, fade in. Uh, starting time is zero and duration is three seconds. So this should do the exact same thing that we just did, but instead of having to wait for the whole file to re-encode, we should see it in real time. And there you go. That's FF, Blip, FF Play is a really nice tool to see what your video will look like after running filters on it without having to wait for the entire video of the week. Now, we have a fade in effect. What about a fade out effect? Well, that's almost the exact same command, with the exception, I'm gonna do the preview thing so we don't have to wait for the whole thing to go out to happen. Um, the only difference is, instead of saying in, you say out, that's it. And then the out will be, the way this works for fade out is the starting time will be when the time at which the video will start shifting from being fully visible to going black. And the, again, the duration will be the amount of time it takes from it being fully visible to being completely black. Um, I'm not gonna, usually you would do this at the end of a video, but just so we don't have to wait for the whole thing to play to see it, I'm gonna have a start within, I don't know, let's say five seconds in, and then a duration is gonna be three seconds. So what will happen is, Video will play like normal for the first five seconds. And after the fifth second, it's going to fade to black over three seconds. Okay, so let's watch. we we'll play. We're on about three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. Fades to black. Nice smooth fade in and fade out effects without um, having to use an editor. Now, um, you may want to do both of these. And having to do them one at a time, uh, when you have to do that whole, that long re-encoding process, that seems like a pain in the ass, right? Well, you can combine these filters. You don't have to do them one at a time. So I'm gonna show you an example. So to do more than one filter, we put a comma, or a, yeah, a comma between them. And if I want to say, also apply the same fade out effect that I just did, we're going to do fade equals T, type is out, uh, starting time is, we'll do the same thing, five seconds, and the duration is over three seconds again. So what this should do is should, it should both fade in and then fade out. Uh, and then you could do this uh, actually writing it out to a file like we normally do, uh, this way, you don't have to wait for it to re-encode twice. That, that's, that's way too much. So we're going to let this play. Fade in. Put about three seconds. It's in. Get to about five seconds. Fades back out. Nice. Don't even... Don't need to fuck with that other shit. Now, I mentioned you could do the same thing to audio. You sure can. Let's pop over to my music thing that I do. Uh, that's not a command. Okay, so let's say I want the first three seconds of this 15 second clip of this track to fade in. Well, it's similar to um, the video part, but instead of doing a video filter with dash BF, we're going to be doing an audio filter with dash AF. And the filter is called A fade instead of fade, audio fade. 
that we're gonna do um FF MPEG dash I Happy Home Designer 15 dot mp3 dash AF uh A fade. I believe the format's basically the same thing, so type is in uh the start time is I'm gonna say zero and then the duration is let's do five seconds, okay? So what this should do is it should start playing. Let me unmute so you can actually hear the thing. It should start playing and then it starts quiet and then over five seconds will fade the track into the full volume. So let's let's see. Please uh, oh as the FMPEG, not not the play. Uh, so let's give a file name. Let's call it Happy Home Designer 15 Fade In. Uh, this should this should wouldn't take very long. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. 15 Fade In. You're getting progressively louder. Uh, let's see. Uh, so again, you can. Combine those if you want. That was probably like stupid. I should turn that down. Okay. I don't blow y'all's ears out. Uh, so instead of just applying a fade in, you can apply a fade out. And I'm going to do it the exact same way we did it with the other one, where we combine them into one command. Do a fade e dot equals out for a fade out. Uh, starting time is, let's just have it fade in and then immediately fade back out. So starting time is five seconds and the duration is five seconds. So what should happen is starts quiet, fades in the full volume, first five seconds, and then immediately starts fading back out. Uh we will call it, I'll just go call it fade both. Yeah, fade both on MP3. Okay, now we're gonna try this one. So it's slowly fading in, building bomb building up. Then Fades back out. See, you can do some really, really impressive things without actually having to use like a full, like a very a fully featured program to do this stuff. And you should be able to um, preview this like you do with the video files. I actually haven't tried to preview um, media files, but there's no reason it shouldn't work. Yep. There you go. Uh, it's less useful with audio files because usually audio files re encode almost instantly. Um, so there you go. Now you can apply fade in and fade out effects to your videos and audio files again without using an editor. And since these are all terminal based commands, you can set up ways to automate your video editing process. Um, so that's all I have for this video. Uh, if you liked it, uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below. I have a couple social links if you want to just pop in and chat on Discord or something. If you would like to support the channel, which I would I would greatly appreciate, I have left a couple links down below as well. And with that, y'all come y'all come on back now and I'll see you next time.